Right before I left San Diego and we made our move to Northern Virginia, we had a wonderful Christmas, and then it was just days later that I got one of those calls you never want to get when my urologist in San Diego called and said I had prostate cancer. Mr. Leroy came to us from San Diego. His urologist specifically referred him to us for further care. When he arrived, he was, of course, very anxious and concerned. I was reluctant to go. Um, there were skid marks on the floor of the doctor's office as he tried to push me toward going to see the urologist. It's an issue that I just was not comfortable with, and I think most men aren't comfortable seeing the doctor. 2010, there were 217,000 new cases of prostate cancer in American men. You need to understand that prostate cancer is a killer and can be a problem for men. My wife and I had a lot of questions, and he explained in detail uh, what would happen with the Da Vinci robotic procedure. One of the technologies that we have helped uh, pioneer and advance here at GW has been the robotic assisted laparoscopic radical prostatectomy. The robot is a computer interface where the, the surgeon is sitting in the uh, surgeon's console and the robot is in the operative field performing the surgery. The technology is extremely advanced and exciting. The blood loss has been typically less in these patients. The need for blood transfusion is less. The pain control experience is much better for the patients and not uncommonly their hospital stay is shorter. You can have a painter with the same oils on his palate and the same brushes but you get completely different outcomes depending on the on on who the artist is physicians who do 30 procedures a year are considered in the expert category and Dr. Fraser does 100 to 200 a year so he he truly is an artist at it once we know we've cured them of cancer help them through the exercise process to get their continence back and then third, to help them improve the nerves and help the nerves heal up properly. When that does happen successfully, it's, it's a home run. You know, we're excited about it. He had a very successful outcome. The surgery went extremely well. And at this point, he is no evidence of disease. He has been cured of his cancer, and we're very pleased to, to say that. My episode with prostate cancer was kind of a wake-up call, both for myself and my family. You know, I, I feel Dr. Frazier um, saved my life, and he saved my lifestyle.